Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here again within the Cursed Estate. I've already gone and put some more people into the sanitarium, got them locked away, Anna, Petra and Dismas all having their quirks and such treated. Takes a while to decide and filter through different characters, so I thought I'd do that ahead of time. But now we're going to jump into yet another medium level 5 mission. We've got two that we can go for here. This party is made to, to withstand both, so it's kind of just what we want to go for. We can either go into the... Um, into the the warrens here or into the curve the curve we do already have that trinket i believe um if i go and try and find it now i'm pretty sure we already have that dark mask i can't remember where the hell it's gonna be but i'm fairly sure that's something we have already i i genuinely can't find it <laughs> um it's somewhere around here i'm sure of it Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I've just seen it before. Just felt like one that we already had is all. Anyway, so we got we got this for the uh, for the Dark Wraith, um, which is decent enough. Or we can go with this one here. Um, not this one, sorry. Actually, we could go for this one. Uh, this isn't the one that I picked initially. It's either one of these two. So we can either go with the Pit Fighter World Champion Medal, which we're going to use the Pit Fighter right now, so that'd be good. Or we can go for the Grave Robbers uh, Raider Talisman, which is also really, really strong. Uh, in fact, I'm more inclined to go and do that. Uh, so let's quickly go for our characters and see what we got going on. So first of all, Renault, um, Rinaldius the Dragon Slayer here uh, got, got that Ambitious locked in earlier. I think that's going to be super good on him because he already does extra damage versus size 2. Uh, and we can even pile that on here with this uh, giving an, an extra 20%. I think for now though, we wanna go with his extra repose damage plus accuracy, and then uh, go with one of the more generic ones over here. Let's have a little look, see which one will work best for us here. We've got quite a lot that would be very valuable on Rinaldius here. Uh, so I'm not sure which one to go for, but we'll take a little look through and see what might be best. He does have good crit chance, so buffing up his crit might be worthwhile here. I think maybe the focus ring, keeping him as a supremely accurate and high crit chance, uh, high crit chance guy would be really nice. Why do we have three of these? Let me just sell a few of these. That's kind of odd. <laughs> um, we do have a few of multiple of a few things actually. We don't need all of those. Uh, right, and that as well. My God, we have a mul multiples of a lot of things right now. There's some things that I definitely want to keep multiples of, but there's a lot of things here that we really don't need multiples of. Singing Blade, I want to keep multiple of. Um, I'm, I'm undecided at the moment. I have to say, I'm undecided. There's a lot of good stuff here. Uh, the Tough Ring would give prop, would lower damage the... Um, hmm. I want something that's really going to beef him up and make him a bit more... Uh, make him a bit more potent for us. Quite a few things we can go with to, to achieve that. Have a little look-see here. Um, we don't want anything to do with bleeding or anything like that. I think we just want something that's going to straight up up his damage. Do you know what? Let's go with the Ancestral Spectrals. It's a bit odd, but it ups his crit chance a lot. And it allows us to bypass stealth, which I feel is pretty damn useful. Uh, Ash here, I believe he has some class-specific trinket as well. We haven't taken Ash out in a little while. So he has this here, which uh, minuses the damage we take off Incinerate, but it massively lowers our crit chance. I actually think we should go with that, because Incinerate is, is supremely powerful. Um, so we, we take Incinerate here. Minus 25% damage taken from the skill per corpse. Okay, so we could end up taking quite a lot less damage from this skill. And then I think because Incinerate is so good... We just pile on the flat damage and go with something like the, um, whereabouts is it? Where's the Bracer, the legendary Bracer? Is that not on someone already or something? Legendary Bracer, where are you? I always seem to lose it. A very difficult one. I like I like setting these trinkets and stuff before we get into the episode for this reason specifically. Because sometimes it takes me a while. And I really feel stupid when it's super obvious where it is and I just can't see it. And I feel like that's exactly the case, what's happening right now. Um, is it on another character already? Or did we lose it? We might have somehow lost it. I don't, I don't see it. Uh, is there anything else we can use for flat damage output? 
We want something that's just going to increase our flat damage output. Uh, wait, is Incinerate class as a ranged skill? It is. So what we could do is go with something like that, which is going to increase our crit chance and range of our... Um, of our Sorry, and um, and damage. And that puts our crit chance back up to where it was before. Let's take a little look here. Uh, I, I, there's definitely something here that's better for us. I think. I do believe. In fact, we might be good with using the, uh, the burn chance here, wherever that is. Where's the burn chance one? Burn chance? Bleed chance. I am getting really confused with all of our different trinkets now. We have so many. It's uh, it's one of the heads, isn't it? This one here. On attack hit bleed for two. And that does give us accuracy on melee as well. Not as useful though. Um... Right, I'm just going to uh, take a little brief break and try and find the bracer. One sec. Okay, I did manage to find it eventually. I, it was must have been on another character still, because I was able to find it by using the unequip all trinkets. But we've got it now. Um, and let's see what else we want. So this guy, we know his healing is just absolutely, completely busted. If we put this and I believe it's this on. We did it last time. Uh, it just... It, it gets absurd. I don't know what happens, but the healing is out of this world. We do have to be careful because he does have very, very low base HP. Um, and obviously the Crimson Curse as well. Um, and then Dai is going to be rushing in and doing some good work here. So, again, he wants to have, like, probably pretty high crit. Pretty high base damage would also be really good. He has very, very good HP too. Um... Maybe we want to go with a focus ring. I think actually that'd be a good idea. Accuracy seems like a perfect start to this. Um, and then we probably have a class specific trinket for this guy. Our pit fighter uh, die that could do a really, really good job. We actually have three. Um, on attack hit self heal for three. 25% healing received if in position one. 25% healing received. That's really good. Uh, or we can go with extra accuracy, extra crit, extra scouting, extra chance monster surprised, and extra stress. Or the 20% HP. We definitely want to go with a lucky bracer. That's amazing crit chance right there. Um, and amazing accuracy. He's going to be a hard hitter right here. Uh, and then we want to be going for this one here. And I think that, that, that uh, puts everyone in a good position here. We do have the creeping cough that I didn't realize on Ash, which is lowering our damage by a decent amount, which does mean the Legendary Bracer is only really making up for what we're losing. But I'm still going to bring him along anyways. I feel like he needs to be uh, utilized and leveled up, so I cannot complain. And then, yeah, Rinal uh, Rinaldius as well here. I think this is a pretty good team. I think this team is ready. I think this team is, uh, has is got, got some passion within their soul. Let's go on and uh, buy our provisions here. Get a bit of everything. And we're going to take four of those as well, just in case. And we embark onto our adventure and maybe come across the Collector. We do indeed have a diary entry by I as this guy again for Annie, our Vestal. Um, and this uh, this starts with, A whole month has passed since I was taken to the sanitarium. I finally got out a few days ago and I went on an expedition to exterminate some bandits. I thought it would give myself um, some rel something relatively easy, but I guess I didn't pay enough attention because the bandits managed to steal... A gigantic cannon and we're planning to destroy the estate. As the fight went on, we were trying our best to keep the fuse layer from lighting the cannon's match. However, when I called to the light to smite one of the fuse layers, it didn't respond and the fuse layer lit the match. Next thing I know, I, a massive cannonball impacts and we all somehow survived. I quickly tried to heal everyone, but before I could, one of the gunners shot us. Katrina nearly died, but I managed to pull her through and after many attacks, the cannon fell to pieces. The bandits tried to run away, but Kuro chained them into a tree and beat them to death. I haven't been feeling right ever since that night. I feel weird. Empty somehow. I don't know what it is ha what is happening. I went to Isaac to see if I was sick, but he said nothing was wrong with me. He said that I should take some rest. I'm feeling weaker and weaker every day. I've been praying many times every, every day since, but I don't feel anything. It must be the golem that I summoned, maybe. I thought it, uh, I was unworthy, 
and that it, this, th it was its punishment. I must find the girl and then beg for forgiveness before anything bad happens. I think something bad already it has happened, but hey, uh, lay down when it is not right. <laughs> this is a medium that, mission, so we kind of want to be trying to clear out everything here. This is Gather the Grains as well, so we kind of got to go everywhere. That's a really, really good start. Extra food is fantastic. Unfortunate trap right off the bat Watch here. Your step. Just eat up once, there you go. He did resist the bleed nicely enough. First hard battle already. Luckily, we got the jump on him. Probably because of our pit bracer. Um, gains purchase. I think we start off with one of these. Gives everyone a bonus of damage and then prop. We dash in. Does decent damage, but more importantly, gives us insanely good stats. And we just start off with the heals. There it is, look. I don't know why it does it, but it heals for an insane amount. And we incinerate right off the bat, because we're going to take very minimal damage from it, to be honest. Okay, minus 40% damage, not good. Vomit incoming as well. This is going to be kind of a hard battle. Kind of a hard battle. We're going to have to use um, everything we got. My god, being marked is not going well for you, die. Please do not die. <laughs> uh, right. So we can um, heal ourselves here and buff our uh, dodge and prop, which I actually think I'm going to do. I think that's a really good idea. We're already marked, so the major downside isn't actually going to affect us. Um, and then we are going to guard over you because you have very low HP. And also we have that bonus repair damage. I think it's going to be very worthwhile. Lots of stress coming in, but I think that's okay. And there you go. There's that repair and that high dodge as well to help out. Compassion is a there you go. This is going to heal our into full pretty much every single time. Um, we go for another. We can basically incinerate on every single turn because we're going to take minimal damage and be able to do a really good amount of healing. We are going to just keep on healing because Compassion it gives prop, keeps that prop going. I think that's important. Also, minor stress heals al uh, along the way to finish you off. Very nice. Another vomit coming in. As long as Dai's taking all of the uh, all of the stress of everyone else, I'm pretty happy. And there you go. This is a big size two guy as well, so we're gonna do even more damage against you. We can get a fire on you as well. There's a fire under your feet. You're gonna take damage, increase crit chance, all that good stuff. Dai takes another hit. It's okay though. The fire burns on. We even set up another fire on you. Twelve percent crits received. Let's see if we can hit a crit on you. There you go. I don't know why that heal's so broken, but it's so good. And there you go, you're down. The great of the glory. Good stuff. This, this I feel, is one of our strongest teams in a while. Like, I kind of brought this team out knowing they'd be good, but this is really good. Right, so quest location. Quest location. Okay, so we know where one quest is up here, and one quest here. So we go up this way. And we grab one of these. Good, good. We might have to miss out on some loot here and there, but we'll see. Good. Keep going. For a task well performed. Okay, we are re we are reorganized. Good. Go back over to this quest location. This might end up being a relatively quick one. I'll probably stick with it and try and kill the. Uh... Oh, we do need to uh, feed you. Um, I probably will end up. Uh... Here, here they are. Fighting the Collector if we can as well. I think this team is more than capable. There's a bite coming in already. Dai, of course, being the main focus for everyone here. Might end up taking on some Crimson Curse here. Would be slightly inconvenient if that ends up being the case, but... It's to be expected at this point, and we can kind of take advantage of it at least somewhat. Wow. Dai, Dai's going to stress check. We, we, you can just tell. Incinerate there. Good damage across the board. We charge in. It's not going to finish you, but it is going to knock you back hugely. Get that going. I think we always start off by doing these two attacks here. We miss out on some damage, but everyone gets that prot. Everyone gets that damage, and then we can protect as well. I think it's fantastic. Back up to full, everyone. Nice. Stun on dice, not too bad. There you go. That repost is so strong as well, but it's worth doing. Ow. Yep. Incoming stress check already. I kind of knew it. Ah, oh, horror as well. Consumes the 
mind. Nice damage there across the board. Yeah, horrors, horrors, unfortunate. Was not expecting to take on quite this much stress. Crimson Curse is going to force him to do something. Selfish, unfortunate, unfortunate. Self preservation is paramount at any cost. This, this could be a problem. This is very early to take a stress check. Considering, look at everyone else. I mean, Dai kind of agreed to take the brunt. I'm sure he did. Still, though. It leads to some unpleasantries. We're killing stuff quickly, though, at least. And getting crits along the way. We'll go with the poker. Try and get some bleed on there as well. Yes, thank you. It is good of him to uh, to take the brunt, though. Like, as much as he is really taking a pummeling, it's very nice of him to step forward is a rarity in the fever. and say that he'd be okay with it. Not many men will do this for their brethren. Another big hit. This is it, dead. This Good. Give them no quarter. Here. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Should have rearranged these guys before I did that. Bit of a shame there. Uh, we're going to take this again. So, good job so far. Oh, we've actually found the last quest location there as well. And we got scouting again. Hmm. I think we moved through the room battle. I haven't going around any other way. Unfortunate trap Ancient take there. Okay. In wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. Right. In we go. Quite difficult fight here. The armorers are significantly uh, dif more difficult than the, the average enemy in this area. But this group is tough. We have proved that already. They can deal with it. A nice amount of damage right off the bat. In fact, Dai might even be able to just do that. Your mum's a pig. I mean, so Dai, I, I feel you've misunderstood the situation here. You, you said that to offend him, but as he is a pig himself, his mother is quite clearly a pig. So what you've done there is, You've shouted aggressively at this small pigman. Just a fact. <laughs> Just an obvious fact. <laughs> that is all you've done. <laughs> In your stress-deluded mind, you've just shouted an oblivious fa uh, an, an obvious fact at this pigman. I I feel I feel as if that's not really going to have the um have the oomph, should I say? that you may have thought that it might have. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Right. We push through after Dai's blunder there. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> Your mum's a pig. You stupid fool. Of course his mum's a pig. The onslaught. Destroy them all. Okay, the stress relief here is very nice because we are getting up there in the stress levels. Good stuff. The armor is the only one left. I do re I do know that when the armor is the only one left, he does gain some additional attacks. And they can be... Yeah, I was just about to say, they can be pretty potent, as we just saw. But we are just as potent. I'm really hoping we can get a healing before this all ends. Please stop. There you go. I really hope he doesn't get another attack in, because I really need to heal up. There we go. Because we can, we can guarantee get to full. There you go. Lovely. Struck down. And destroyed. Good amount of stuff there. And through we go once more. Right. Okay. Definite problem here. This is a very hard fight. Get that going. Drums of debilitation. Yeah, this is a very hard fight for us. This guy can can destroy us. 
Again, though, we want to get a prop. Unfortunately, you were the only one that said no, but that's kind of okay because you're the one that I'd say. Okay, this time you've you've done something good, but not what we wanted. I think I need to incinerate here. I need to get these guys weak. Tentacle devour. Ooh. That's that's bad. That. You just tried to kill him. That was brutal. He was on death's door, and you just tried to kill him. This is what I meant by this was going to be a tough fight. It's the last fight we have to do, but it sure is a toughie. Okay, the drum guy is going down. Good, good. Hopefully we can get another heal in here. Um... We don't want to guard anyone because we're suffering ourselves. And a 38 crit is exactly what we needed. Lowering this guy's speed as well is really nice. Another tentacle devour coming in. Another death's door check here. This is bad. And the resolve is tested. He's paranoid. This could be very problematic for us if he refuses healing. Okay, he didn't, and he crit as well. This is fantastic. Okay. This has been a slightly more treacherous um, treacherous fight than I was expecting, I've got to say. Oh, three HP remains. This guy's going down. Another vomit coming out there. Okay, no more tentacle devours, please. Thank you. A victory. Perhaps a turning point. Wow, I can't believe. I can't believe it. Benjamin went in for the kill. I'm sorry, Benjamin, but you may... Thank you. You may have... You may have everyone fooled with your Crimson Curse, but it doesn't mean you can do the biddings of the enemy. At least he didn't do that earlier. Minus 40 dodge. Just slightly Jesus problematic injury. here. Lots of stress coming in, and he took on the influx. Let's, let's hope we don't heart attack here. There you go. We are going to have to cut off this mission short because we're in a very bad position right now. Minus 20 dodge. We'll sometimes start bleeding during combat. That's terrible. Right. Through we go. Was glad to see there's no fight there. And there we go. That was a shorter episode than I was expecting, but there is no way that we can carry on. We must, we must return to the hamlet. This is uh, a battle most treacherous. Our supplies are replenished. The soldiers will feast tonight. Right, everyone got to level 6 as well. That's fantastic to see. And we're going to have to do some sorting out here. Would like to stress relieve, but... Actually, I think we should stress relieve first, to be honest. Um, let's unequip, reorganize, and let's put you in for uh, stress treatment. All of you, pretty much. There you go. Benjamin, you'll be okay. Uh, cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, rather treacherous one indeed. Um, my god. But yeah, if anyone wants to write for the two classes we've got remaining at the minute, we have... Let's have a look-see. The, um, the Druid. And we still have the um, Janissary that still don't have backstory. So if anyone wants to write for them, go ahead. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, even if it was a shorter one. And I will see you guys in the next one.